So, hi, and hello. After a long time, welcome to the part 2 of Valorant, the ultimate lag fix guide. This is Low End Gaming and welcome to another new and amazing video. So in this video, I will show you the easiest and most effective guide to fix lag and increase FPS in your game. This was how the game was working on my PC, it gave 20 to 30 frames per second, and was very stuttery. But this is how the game works after doing all the steps shown in this video. The game gave over 100 frames per second, and was very smooth to play. So, as you have seen the results let's see the whole process and get started without wasting any time. So, for the first step we will simply change the in-game settings of the game. So, open your game and go to settings. Now here just copy my settings as it is. I am showing this a little bit faster, because this are the basic steps. If you want this basic steps watch my first Valorant lag fix video. Click here for the video or link in the description below. So, after changing all the settings, play your game. This is how the game works on lowest in-game settings possible. The game was very smooth to play and was easily playable. Hope you got some FPS boost. Now let's move to the next step. For the next step we will edit the config file. For the config file, search for percentage local app data percentage in the search bar. Now open it, here find Valorant folder and open it. Now go to saved. Config, the first folder, Windows. Game user settings is the config file. Open it with notepad. Here scroll down to the last and in the scalability groups, change resolution scale to 50 and other settings to zero. Again, this are the basic steps. If you want it slower then watch my first Valorant video. After making the changes as shown, save the file and then make sure to set the config file to read only. Now after this step play your game, this is how the game works after this step. The game is working currently at 50% resolution scale, and on the lowest possible settings. On my PC the game gave above 100 frames per second without any lags and stutter. So, if you have a very low-end PC, then you can lower the resolution scale to 30% from the config file. This is how the game works on 30% resolution scale. It's not that clear, but yeah it is smooth to play. But I recommend 50% resolution scale. So, on my first video many people had a problem with their config files. Their config files were blank and empty and there was nothing to edit. So, I will tell you possible fix for this problem. I don't guarantee you that this will work, but you can give it a try if you are facing this issue. So, go down the in the description below and copy the config text and paste it in the original config file of the game. And now you can make the config changes. Just save the file and set it to read only. Hope this would work for you guys. Let's move to next step. For this next step, I will show you a quick internet hack to reduce ping in your game so you can get more FPS. So, open the control panel. Go to network and internet. Network and sharing center, then click on ethernet. Now go to properties. Click on internet protocol version 4 and click on properties. Down, here select use the following DNS addresses. In preferred DNS server type in 8888. In alternate DNS server type in 8844. And done. Click on OK and close it. And we are done. This will literally improve your in-game ping and help you get a smoother gameplay. Let's move to our last and most important step. So, this step will give a good FPS boost in your game. The credit for this tweak goes to Renatic. So, follow me and let's see the tweak. First go down in the description below and down the two tool packs and extract them. Now first open the Auto GPU Affinity folder. Right click on Start File and run it as an administrator. Now press Enter and the program will first benchmark your CPU, which will take some time, around 10 to 15 minutes. 
So, after the benchmark test is done, a table like this will appear on your program screen. Now hear me carefully. Select a GPU core which has the highest min FPS value or the highest 0.01% value. Like in my case, I can either choose CPU 0 or CPU 2. In your case it may be different. So now remember a core you want to select. Now close this window. Now right click on this PC and click on Manage and open the device manager. Under the display adapter select your GPU and click on properties. Now down here remember the device location we will need it for later. Now close the device manager. Now open the second extracted file called Affinities Pack. Open the Interrupt Affinity Policy tool and run it as an administrator. Here find your GPU device. To make sure it is the right one remember the address we found in the device manager. Now select the device and click on Set Mask. Now here select the CPU core you selected before. I will use the CPU 0, then click on OK and ignore all the errors. Click on No and just reboot your whole system again so that all the changes take place nicely. So, now we will optimize our PC and get more FPS in our game. But I will not show you that in this video. For that watch this quick video, it will be worth it. Link in the description below or at the top right corner. So, after this step you will definitely get some performance boost. Hope you watched the video till here and the video was very helpful to you. If you still watching, comment down below worth it. So, guys this was it for this video. See you all in the next video. Bye!